Hey everyone, today is May 1st and it is Scratch Month. It is a global celebration of Scratch and we're going to be imagining, creating, and sharing our Scratch projects in our online community. So I can't wait to see what you're going to create this month. Now, boys and girls, I've sent out instructions on how to create your own Scratch accounts. If you're not sure what to do, please go back into your technology classroom, look under instructions, Scratch accounts, and there's pretty clear instructions on how to create one. If you already have one, great. That's, the, that's all I need you to do so that you are able to sign in. When you click on the CS First link, it's going to bring you to this page. Now, if you have your Scratch login, it's the same login with CS First. So you could click Sign In on the top right-hand corner, click I'm a student, and sign right in, and the project is available there. But if not, you can always click up on top. Don't worry, you don't, you don't need to sign in for CS First, but you do still need to make an account because um, you need that to sign into Scratch. Now, click on Curriculum and scroll down until you see our project for this week. It's called Cold Your Hero. Now you will be thinking about an everyday hero from your own life to build a story or a game using code that gives them, uh, gives your hero, superhero, uh, your hero some superpowers. So click on Code Your Hero. Now it's going to bring you to the activity that we'll be working on. If you scroll further down, there's two sections, one set of instructions in English and the other set in Spanish. Now, when you click on number one introduction, that's going to bring you to the template. So click on one introduction, scroll down, and on the right-hand side, there is a link to your starter project. And this is basically where the template that we'll be working off of. You can watch this video or read the transcript. And if you scroll further down, this is the best part. This is where you get to be creative and add on to your project how to move your hero, fly over buildings, add some background music. And I know most of you know how to do so already from your previous experience, but this is a great place to remind you and you always can learn something new from re-watching the video. Here is Keeping Score, you create a little game. You can add another character to support your hero. And this one's actually a lot of fun if you wanna draw your own hero. So go ahead and click the starter project. It's going to bring you to the Scratch website. Now when your Scratch page opens up, it's going to look like this, which is the template and it has the, the sprites on the right-hand side. What you must do is sign in to the right, click sign in, type in your username and password because I'm using my personal laptop. Um, I do sometimes save my password on my computer, but if you are using someone else's laptop, don't do that for privacy issues. And then don't forget to come over here to the middle of the page and click the word remix so that it gets saved right into your My Stuff. I don't want you to lose your project. All right, so here you can get started with coding by clicking back into CS First and watching the videos. You can always start with your events by dragging out and when green flag is click block or when this sprite is click, depending on what you want your superhero to do. What I'm planning to do right now, I want, I'm gonna click hero to make sure that this is the sprite I'm programming with. I'm going to click costume. I kind of want to tinker around a little bit because um, I want to dedicate this project to my sister who is a pharmacist in the hospital and she's been working very hard uh, with COVID patients. So um, I'm, I want to thank her for all her hard work and all the time that she's our community. And so um, on the left-hand side, there are tons of different heroes, really fun. And I'm going to just pick one and uh, the shape, the colors, just so that it looks a little bit more like her. So you can play around with the art tools by clicking select, right? You can select the shape or the object that you wanna play with or change. So if I click on her shirt and I go to fill, I can actually change 
the color of her shirt. And I'm going to change this object a little. So do you see that there's a few layers here? Um, right up on top is ungroup. If you click ungroup, that means that you can put a piece. So I, could took, I took her hair off. Now I get to change and make my own hair piece. So I get to delete this by um, what I'm going to do is click on it, click the word delete. And then I can use my line tool, click on the line to the left. I could draw some lines, try to make some long hair. Um, and then you can manipulate it a little more later. So by clicking on the dots, I can change it around. Oops. My mouse is a little sticky today, so uh, bring this object. I can round it out a little, so if you could tell, um, and not make this so pointy. Yep. Now, when I click on this pointer, I'm selecting this object. I'm bringing it. Oops. over closer to her head so that I can have a better idea. And I'm going to fill it with black first before um, I do anything else. Yep. And then here you can actually manipulate it just a little more by clicking on the select tool and then bring it back. Now, this is kind of fun and a little therapeutic, I must say. All right, so you get the idea, boys and girls. And then you can also change the color um, of, of objects. So right here, I want to lighten the color of the shade of her face. And right here, the brightness. And then just lighten it just a little bit. And there you go. That's perfect for me. All right. Make sure that when you are done, click the share button and take your link and post it. Make sure that you come back to this page and copy and paste your project right in the class comments section and then click enter just so that all your classmates can check out all your hard work and all the superheroes were celebrating.